Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. Today, I'm just going to run you through a day on the Juggernaut app. Today is actually my first day in this strength training block. I've been running a nine-week hypertrophy block up to this point. So I'm just going to give you some insight into how I use the app while I'm training. And we'll just go from there and leave any questions you have in the comment section below. All right, so starting the app, I go through the normal process. I actually skip the warm up portion of it, although it gives you a specific warm up each day. I find I just do like five to 10 minutes on either the Echo bike or the Peloton bike, and that's warm up enough for me. But if you're interested, it does have that in there. And then just jumping right into the training, I'm starting off with competition style squats today, which I'm really excited about because I haven't done like a regular low bar competition style squat in like nine weeks. I have been squatting a lot. I've been squatting in some cases three times per week, but it's all been like variation. So it's either tempo work, paused work. And in the instances where I have had normal back squats programmed in, I've actually been doing like duffalo bar work or something like that, just some sort of variation. So because of that, looking at my training today, it says I have a range of weight to start off for my top set. I'm going to go to the maximum suggested number there, which is 405 pounds. And then we'll see how my back offs go depending on how that range rates. All right, so you probably also noticed based off of the warm up sets, I'm actually using these Hansu powerlifting calibrated plates. So we're back to these weird funky colors, which means my mask going to be all over the place. But I do have some chip plates from Rep Fitness that I ended up adding in, which are the white ones you see on the end. So this does equal to about just about 405, as close as I could get. Otherwise, with the kilo plates that I have, it would have been like 402 and a half. So 405, going to aim for six reps here. Now, a lot of people that I've seen have trouble with either overshooting or undershooting what this number is going to be. And the key thing to do is make sure you just log it how it is. So if it's really heavy, put that as a high RPE. If it was way too light, put it as a low RPE. And that, of course, is going to come into play when it comes to the back off sets, which in my case, I think is another four sets of six. So let's try this set at six at 405 pounds and see how that impacts what it's gonna suggest for the rest of the exercise. All right, so top set went pretty good. A 405 times six, I rated it as a six and a half. Now, the interesting thing is, is Garrett's really been warning me that the first week back on a strength block is going to suck. In fact, the app even warns you as well. I think that 405 for a six and a half RPE felt actually really good. The back off set start at 385 for six. I'll show you the first one right now. All right, so a little interesting thing happened on the back offset. The first one at 385 times six felt really good. I rated it as a six. And as you can probably see, I'll move over so I can put the screenshot in. Every back offset after that actually felt about the same. So even though I kept adding weight, it ended up that my fourth and final back offset was actually at 410 pounds, which was heavier than my first initial set. Now, some might scratch their heads at this. I'm cool with that only because, again, it's adapting to what I put in. And if the work was too heavy and I reflected that, it would either drop the weight or even potentially drop sets. But I like that versus like a static template because otherwise I probably would have just done 385 for back offsets of six and felt fine about it. But now I feel really good because my blast back off, my fifth total set, was better than my first top set. So that's pretty sweet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna superset in some work because the next back off sets, I should say next exercises are gonna take some time. Squatting took a bit of time, loading and resting. So I'm gonna superset in one inch conventional deadlifts from a deficit and some flat dumbbell bench presses, which I haven't really done in this training cycle either. Luckily, those are higher reps, so that means that even though I only have a dumbbell up to 100 pounds, hopefully it shouldn't be an issue. But again, the nice thing with this program is you can swap out any exercises that either you don't like or you can't do based off of the equipment that you have available to you.
All right, so benching and deadlifting are done. They went pretty well for the most part. With the dumbbell presses, it was tough just because I've never done that before. So trying to gauge where I should be, I went with 80 pounds. First set was a little bit rough and that's probably because I didn't do a good enough job warming up, but I think it adjusted nicely. And I think next week I'll probably bump it up to 85 pounds. One of the nice changes in the app is now you can look at your past history, which you couldn't do easily before. So I'm just gonna see that I did 80 for 15 and rated it at a seven or whatever. So I'll probably bump up to 85 and try to get between 12 to 15 reps and rate it accordingly. Deadlifts also went well. The first set was a little bit rough. I went double overhand, which made the RPE shoot up just because I felt the bar was slipping a little bit. But after that, switched to mixed grip. Second set went well, added like five pounds to my top or last back offset, I should say, for 446 because I missed kilos and pounds. And I think it's cut in my mind that, hey, this is the last one I'm gonna be done. Let's put some more effort into it. It was apparent on squats. My last back off set was my best and it was the best for my conventional deadlifts as well. I rated it like a five and a half. So now moving on to what I consider more just accessory work and nothing that's a main movement. I'll show you some quick clips and then come back at the end just to wrap up my training day. All right, so accessory work is done. Basically just did a couple of sets of goblet squats, moved on to supersetting in dead bugs and glute ham raises. Things are pretty easy the last couple exercises. I try to keep it a little bit lighter in most instances just because the main work is what I'm more focused on. Overall, I rated the session an RPE six and the first strength day was actually, in my opinion, a huge success. I came in today kind of worrying about it based off of what the app told me to worry about and both what Garrett told me to worry about but I think I did pretty good. So, so far so good. And I'll give you guys more of an update on the overall programming and the changes uh, probably within the next week or so. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.